Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. So if you follow my channel already, you will know that each month I usually film monthly favourites videos, but last month I was away. We were on holiday in Mauritius for two weeks. So because I was away for kind of pretty much half of the month, I thought that instead of filming a month, a, like a regular monthly favourites video, I would switch it up and film kind of like a holiday favourite slash holiday essentials video. So I'm just going to be chatting through some bits that I loved using on holiday, some like beauty favourites, some fashion favourites, skincare, hair care, and just, yeah, just things that I think are either my favourites or my holiday essentials. Um, as usual, everything I feature will be linked below in the description box. Any questions about anything at all, leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But I'm going to get straight into it and I'm going to start off with footwear. And I took around, I think I took five pairs of shoes with me, but I only wore, I pretty much just wore three of those on repeat. Um, I took one pair of heels, didn't wear those at all. I'm just not a heels person on holiday. I just think that... I don't know, I thought I had a red dress that I wanted to be able to wear and I can only wear it with heels, so I thought I'd take those just in case, but like when you're on holiday, the last thing you want to be is, wear, well, for me personally, I just don't wear heels. Anyway, first of all, this pair of tan sandals from Amazon Fashion. I got these about a week before I went and I wore these pretty much every single day on holiday. They're just such a lovely, flattering style. They went with pretty much all of my outfits, really comfortable i love the um i love the style of them i feel like they're slightly kind of a dupe for the hermes sandals or that sort of style of sandal um and yeah i just wore these so much love those and they come in lots of different colors as well so if you like the style of them but not the tan then i'll leave them linked and you can check out the other color options another pair of sandals that i wore a lot are my trusty birkenstocks and again, these are just so comfortable to pop on. I think pretty much every morning I wore these down to breakfast. They're just so easy to slip into, so comfortable. And do you know what? I think that when, when you go on holiday and you haven't worn sandals or sliders for quite a while, sometimes they can rub because your feet aren't quite used to wearing them. Whereas these are the one pair that I know that I can wear and they just won't rub. They are so comfortable. Um, I've had these for a couple of years now, but they are still available. And obviously, again, these come in so many different colours, but I feel like this neutral taupe colour go with, yeah, again, lots of my holiday outfits. And then the final pair of footwear that I wore so much on holiday, not the most attractive pair, but just these white Adidas sliders. Our hotel was in the beach, so most days you'd be in and out of the water, and then you just want to slide something on that's not going to get dirty, not going to get damaged from the sea and the salt water, um, and these were just perfect to just chuck on and off, obviously waterproof. Um, and these are also from Amazon Fashion, and in fact, I actually ordered Lua pair. He got the black ones, um, but I'm actually going to order this colour option for myself as well because I feel like they're a little bit more, I don't know, I just really like the simplicity of the all black and they were £13 from Amazon Fashion, so such a bargain. Okay, next up are a couple of hair care favourites and I feel like your hair can definitely get quite damaged on holiday with the seawater and the sunshine, it can really kind of dry it out. Um, and in fact, I actually only, I think I washed my hair twice while we were away, um, because the rest of the time we were going in and out of the seawater, and I was just kind of scrunching it up and letting it dry naturally and kind of embracing the natural wavy curl texture of my hair. Um, but a couple of essentials whilst on the holiday. First of all, in fact, I haven't got it with me to show you because I finished it whilst we were away. I'll pop a picture of it up here, and it's the Christoph Robin Regenerating Hair Mask. I think I actually mentioned this in last month's favourites, but it's just such a beautiful, luxurious, hydrating hair mask. And when my hair felt super dry and dehydrated, it just made it feel kind of soft and silky again. But I feel like if you're going on holiday, any kind of hydrating, repairing hair mask is an absolute essential to pack with you. Sticking with hair care, I also took the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil with me and use this every day, just ran a few drops through the ends of my hair and if I was wearing it in a bun, I'd kind of put a bit on the top as well and it just gave it that lovely, shiny, hydrated feeling and yeah, just stopped it from drying out too much. So that was a must. But again, any kind of like oil or serum, I feel like for me, 
is a must on holiday. Next favourite or recommendation are sheet masks, especially if you have a fridge in your room. A little tip for you, what I love doing on holiday is popping some sheet masks in the fridge and then when you come back from a day at the beach or just a day feeling very hot and sticky, wash your face, pop on a sheet mask straight from the fridge and it just cools your skin down instantly and just leaves it feeling so hydrated, so cool and so refreshed ready to then get ready for the evening. Um, and I took a few of these ones with me. These are the Dr. Jart hydrating sheet masks. And yeah, they, do, they were just really lovely. I would definitely recommend taking some of these with you and popping them in the fridge. Next up, a very obvious one, the SPF. And I think I packed about six bottles to take away with me. I am very thorough with my sun protection. Lou is the complete opposite, which is very frustrating. Is anyone else's partner like that? Just, yeah, just not, just not, not, um, not very good with sun protection. But anyway, I had a couple of favourites. Um, first up, this one by a brand called Soleil Toujours. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but this is just a spray-on sun factor. It comes out clear. In fact, let me just, you unlock it so it doesn't even need, need a lid. And then you just spray it like that. It's just a clear mist and just so handy for when you just want to quickly reapply and you don't need to like, I mean, I do rub it in a little bit, but you don't need to really rub it in. You can just spritz it over. I wore Factor 50 kind of like here, here, and thighs, and then like my calves and arms, I wore 30. Um, but yeah, really great. And it's um, coral reef safe, vegan, gluten-free, paraben, paraben-free, anti-aging, and eco-friendly packaging. <clears throat> I can now taste it, unfortunately. <laughs> But yeah, I recommend that. I really like the ease of applying that. And then another favourite that I couldn't actually find to show you, but I will pop a little picture of it in here. And it is the Elizabeth Arden Factor 50 Sunstick. And it's just great for applying on lips, on your nose, ears, any areas that you want extra. I mean, I put Factor 50 on my face anyway, but this is just that extra kind of protection of a stick. Um, it's clear, it doesn't taste of anything. It's just, yeah, just so easy to just reapply. You just twist it up, whack it on, and again, that was with me in my bag all the time. Super handy little extra sun protection. Because I was using Factor 50 on my face religiously and wearing a hat all the time in the sun, which I'll come to in a minute. Um, but because of that, obviously I didn't catch too much of a tan on my face. My freckles definitely came out, but I didn't get much of a tan. So I was using um, tanning drops every, I'd say every other evening I was using the Tan Lux Tanning Serum. And it's just like little drops. I actually, I, I won't, I'll insert a picture because I left the bottle. Um, I kind of finished it off whilst I was there. So I haven't got it to show you. Um, but I use them every other evening and they just build up a very natural tan to kind of give you that holiday sun-kissed look, but without the skin damage. Next up, a bronzer. And when I'm on holiday, I love a really bronzy, summery makeup. I mean, I love a bronzy makeup anyway, but when I'm on holiday, I really kind of ramp it up a notch. Um, and this bronzer is just fantastic for that. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer Matte Bronzing Filter in the shade 3. This is brilliant and because it's so big, it's perfect to use on your face but then you can also bring it down a little bit onto your chest and your shoulders as well if you want to. Um, it's very pigmented so I, if I just put my finger there, you'll be able to see it's super, super pigmented. So just dabbing my brush in, it comes out really... Can you see that? It's very, yeah, very, very, very pigmented indeed. So it will last forever, but it's just a really lovely bronzy color. Like it doesn't look orange. It builds up nicely and it just gives that lovely, I've got it on today, but obviously not as much as I would wear on holiday. And yeah, it just gives that lovely glowy skin. And I use that combined with a highlighter from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Multi Glow Highlighter. And this has got four different shades. You've got lighter, more like a bronzier, um, bronzier kind of like goldy tone, more like a pinky tone, and then a slightly lighter pinky tone as well. And again, this is just so beautiful, super pigmented and smooth and creamy. And it's great because you can just switch your brush all the way across it. In fact, I've got a highlighting brush here. So you can either just kind of go across it completely and just dab a bit on, or you can think, oh, I'm gonna go for more like a bronzy one and just go for that section and just go for a bit more of a bronzy. I mean, I probably put that on completely wrong. 
Um, but yeah, it's just really, really gorgeous and it just gives a really lovely highlight. Or, or you can just use the lighter one on the end if you want more of like a brighter highlight. Um, and the packaging is beautiful as well. And then one more beauty favourite that I used a lot on holiday is this Trini um, T-Tones Lip and Cheek Duo. Now I actually use this side a lot more. In fact, I didn't really use this side at all. So I would, I would say as a favourite, I'm just talking about this one rather than both of them. And you can actually get this one on its own as well. You don't have to get it as a duo. Um, but it's a really lovely cream lip and cheek product. It's quite a bright corally colour, but what I did on holiday is I just used like a brush like this or kind of like a stippling brush, popped it in like that, and then you can just, if you see, I don't know how well that will show, it almost goes on a little bit like a powder, but it's really lovely to give, to kind of like fake that sun-kissed look. So I would pop this in. I mean, I've, I've obviously already got it on now, but I'm just gonna pop a little bit more on so you can see. But I would just dab it like up my cheeks like that. I would dab a little bit on the end of my nose um, and just give that really like sun-kissed, almost like a little bit sunburned, but obviously without having to get sunburned. But it just, you know, on holiday when you've got that freshly glowy look, I feel like this worked perfectly for this. And I would just pop it around like that. Um, and yeah, it just gave a really gorgeous glowy look. Oh, and you can also just uh, dab it over the top of your lipstick as well. For me, on its own, I wouldn't wear it as a lipstick because it's not quite, it was a little bit too, I guess a bit too matte maybe. Um, but I would quite often apply it and then put a lip gloss over the top of it or just dab it on over the top of like a nude lip. And um, yeah, gorgeous. I can't, I'm literally trying to look in the viewfinder and I probably have applied that. In fact, let me just check in this mirror quickly. <laughs> yeah, we're all good. <laughs> and then my final holiday makeup favourite, and again, I haven't got it here to show you, but I will pop a cutaway of it in here, but it is the Charlotte Tilbury Sexy Sienna Lipstick, and it's just such a beautiful holiday lipstick. It's a really gorgeous, like, corally, pinky colour, similar-ish to the lip and cheek colour that I've just shown you, but slightly more of a wearable colour and obviously it's a lipstick so the formula is that little bit more creamy but I wore it pretty much every evening unless I was wearing a red lipstick. I, I that Actually that was also probably a holiday favourite. This red lipstick by NARS Light My Fire. Really gorgeous holiday red. Um, well really gorgeous red in general but like that lovely orangey summery red. And then final couple of beauty favourites and then I'll move on to fashion. And next up is a fragrance, it's Penhaligon's Luna. And I think I mentioned before that I wanted to take a, just wanted to take one fragrance away with me that I could wear every day and that I would, that would then remind me of that holiday. So I got this a couple of months ago and I've stopped, I stopped wearing it before we went away because I wanted it to just be a holiday fragrance. Obviously I will wear it again eventually, but I'm kind of just going to wait a little bit. Um, but it is beautiful. It's a very kind of, citrusy, sweet, beautiful like spring summer fragrance, um, very fresh, just very holiday-ish. And I wore this every single day and it's, yeah, just a really, really lovely fragrance. And then my final holiday beauty essential, and this definitely is an essential for me now, and it is Miley Gel Builder. I did my nails the morning before we went on holiday. I was very last minute because of like a last minute rush, but I did them in the morning um, and they lasted so, so well. Not a single chip, not they didn't lift at all. They just grew out. In fact, I only took them off a couple of days ago. So they, they were on for about three and a half, about three weeks in total, I think that, no, maybe three and a half weeks actually. Yeah, about three and a half weeks in total without a single chip and if you like gel nails but they, they never last on your nails the gel builder is an absolute game changer they last so well and my nails are still in really good condition underneath as well these are my own nails they're still really hard underneath when i took them off they weren't like they didn't feel bendy or weak like sometimes acrylics can do to them um yeah they just yeah they just grow really well underneath and i just it's an absolute game changer highly recommend trying it especially if you do your own nails at home um so i think in general it's an essential but on holiday 
when you want them to last it is an absolute essential okay next up are accessories so bags jewelry and sunglasses i took about five pairs of sunglasses away with me i believe but my most worn pair were definitely these my good old ray-ban round sunglasses i just feel like they work with every outfit they're just so easy so light and comfortable and i just love the style of these i just yeah absolute favorites and then the other pair that i wore a lot especially when lou was wearing these because he quite likes to steal my sunglasses so if ever he he was wearing these i also love these ones which are ray-bans as well but they're more like a hexagonal shape so quite similar slightly larger a bit more of like a brownie gold color and then they're like hexagonal at the bottom as well um and again i just love the style of these really really like these both of these were from amazon fashion they will both be linked below um and they're always like slightly more of an affordable price at amazon fashion as well like if they were they've always got really good deals on ray-ban sunglasses so if you're going away on holiday or just for summer anyway and you're after a pair then it's definitely worth checking out the selection that they've got there i took four bags away with me so i took my black chloe bag which i wore quite a lot i took the little round sort of straw wicker bag from amazon fashion which i didn't wear that much and then i also took this little clutch bag which again is from amazon fashion i wore this so much pretty much every evening well this or the chloe one but majority of the time i reach for this bag it just went so well with all of my dresses with like little white dresses it looks really cute with any kind of any any evening holiday dress it works super affordable so you're not worried about damaging it and it's just got like a little popper there and then it fit it for me it fitted in everything i needed it to fit which is basically just my phone and the lipstick really on holiday um but i just thought it looked really cute with all of my holiday outfits and i just think it's a really great little holiday evening bag for me i just wanted yeah just I, yeah just really like that and then the fourth holiday bag that i took with me is my celine basket bag and i use this every single day if we we're going out for the day i'd chuck whatever i needed in there if we we're just by the pool or on the beach i'd take it with me and yeah it fitted everything in it it opens up nicely so you can see everything that you need to see in there it was also my hand luggage bag as well which is why it's still got my passport in there which i should definitely put in the safe <laughs> but obviously being celine it is expensive for a basket bag so i have also found some really good alternatives i spotted this one from amazon fashion they've also amazon fashion have also got some really lovely kind of slightly softer ones a bit like one I got from there last year, more of like a softer, less structured feel to it. Um, and then they've got some really gorgeous, like, again, like braided styles. They've got some really, really lovely baskety, beachy holiday bags there. So I'll pop a few of my favourites up here and then I will leave them linked as well. Um, oh, and then another bag from Amazon Fashion that I'm planning on ordering for my next holiday, which I think... I will use instead of the instead of the round one like I said I didn't use that one that much but I think that this one I will end up using a lot because it's got a little top handle it's quite small and I feel like it would be the perfect day and evening bag I think the tone of it's gorgeous um so I am actually going to order this tonight before this video goes up because I feel like it's going to sell out quite quickly and then for jewelry I love gold jewelry anyway but especially for holiday I love kind of like chunky gold pieces so a couple of favorites that i wore pretty much again every day on holiday well every evening first of all this ring and bracelet from monica vinegar i just love this style of them i love how kind of statement they are um and they just looked gorgeous for all of my all of like my holiday outfits um i also wore this necklace quite a bit as well this is also from monica vinegar it's like a chunky chain i've had this for a couple of years now but it also has like a charm that goes on it that just it's just a very lovely statement holiday piece um i did work with monica vinader on a video whilst i was away this isn't an ad but i still have an ongoing discount code of them for 20 percent off so i will leave these pieces linked and also pop it in the description box as well 
Um, and then another piece that I wore, I mean, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but I will insert a cutaway. Um, but I got this anklet before I went away and I wore it every single day on holiday. I didn't take it off. I haven't taken it off since I've been home. I don't plan on taking it off until autumn, winter. Um, it's from Majuri and it's just the prettiest little anklet. And it just, like the style of the chain is so gorgeous. It just captures the light really lovely. It is 18 karat gold, so obviously I can leave it on all the time. And it won't damage. Um, and I do, again, I've got a discount code on, I work with Majuri on an ongoing basis. So I will leave that discount code in the description box as well, if you like any of these pieces. Um, and all of my other pieces that I'm wearing will also be linked below as well. And then moving on to fashion favorites. First of all, this white beach shirt from Amazon Fashion. I wore this so much on holiday. It's so lightweight. It's so easy to chuck on over the top of swimwear. It also looks really cute with denim shorts. It looks nice tucked in, um, but just I threw it on over the top of swimwear and bikinis so much and it's just so lightweight and comfortable, um, but just, yeah, just a really great piece. It was definitely under £20. I got it in a size large because I wanted it to be like oversized and floaty and it fits me perfectly, so I will leave that linked. Um, also, these sarongs, like these beach skirt sarongs from Amazon Fashion. I wore these on repeat every single day. I got them in white, black. In fact, I've got the white one down here to show you. I got it in white, black and khaki and they just tie up. They've got like a little, um, they, they're like this. They've got a little string at the side. You just tie them at the front or at the side and over the top of swimsuits, bikinis, just perfect to go up and like to the pool and back, to the beach and back. They are so handy for holiday for 12 pounds super lightweight i've washed them all since i've got back and they wash really well and they're in a lovely kind of like again lightweight crinkly fabric as well so really recommend those i wore a hat every single day on holiday i actually took three with me but i wore two in particular um, first of all just a simple black cap i got this from amazon amazon fashion it's just a very simple um black new era cap and it's just easy to chuck on especially if i was wearing black like a black bikini i'd usually just chuck that on just just for ease and comfort and obviously it just kept my face covered um but the one i wore the most is this one from h m i got this last year so i don't think it will still be well it won't it probably won't be available but i'm pretty sure they'll still they'll have like a very similar one this year so i'll have a look and leave it linked if i can find one um but i just love the fact that this is a little bit more a little bit bigger protects my face and looks really cute with all different like bikinis and swimwear as well so i wore that pretty much every day um and then swimwear i feel like on holiday a good essential is just a black either a black bikini or a black swimsuit because they don't get marked they don't get stained from sunscreen you can wear them again and again and they just they still look kind of fresh and clean. Whereas with, I took one white, well, I took a couple of white bikinis with me and I wore it once and I got like a mark on it straight away so I couldn't wear it again. Um, but yeah, I think black swimwear is a must. I got a couple of pieces from, again, from Amazon Fashion that I wore a lot whilst I was there. And then I also took this swimsuit from Farfetch, which I wore quite a bit as well. It's so, so comfortable. Um, I know I mentioned these pieces in my last video, so I won't go on too much about them, but I will still have a discount code. Well, I think I've still got a discount code for Farfetch, so I'll pop it in the description box if it's still valid. Um, but yeah, just good, comfortable swimsuit that you feel good in. I feel like it's definitely holiday essential i took a few different like i took like a red one with me i took a blue i took some different kind of like patterned ones i didn't really wear most of them i just went for black white simple basic pieces that i felt comfortable in and that were just easy to chuck on without tan lines i also wore these black and white crop tops quite a bit whilst i was away um they come as a two pack obviously black and white and they're just super comfortable and just look great with like denim shorts um, but equally, like the black one works really well with black leggings as well. Since I've been back, I've been wearing it quite a bit with black leggings, just as a little like active wear set. Um, but yeah, I thought that they were really handy. They look cute with skirts as well. Just, yeah, just really handy little holiday essentials. Um, and then my final holiday favourite, I was trying to pick out like one 
white dress that I love because obviously I love wearing white a lot on holiday um but I would say my favorite dress that I love and that I felt so just had such a lovely holiday feel to it is this one from Free People and I just love the style of it it's elasticated at the front it's got straps across the back and it's just got a really beautiful like flowy skirt in almost like a cheesecloth fabric um super floaty really lovely like holiday day dress but also you can dress up for an evening as well and um yeah just love that and i would say it was one of my one of my favorite holiday evenings but if you saw my what i wore in a week videos you will have seen that i had quite a few favorite outfits so they are all of my holiday favorites and essentials if you can think of anything in particular that i missed out that is an absolute holiday essential then do leave a comment and let me know. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions at all, just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. And as I mentioned before, everything featured will be linked below in the description box. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.